Hello all and welcome to another edition of Everyday Black History where we highlight the historical achievements and contributions of black men and women both past and present. Now today we're going to be highlighting a brother by the name of Dr. Leonidas Berry. Now Dr. Leonidas Berry was a gastroenterologist and a leading pioneer in the medical field. Now Leonidas Berry, a descendant of a self-liberated African that fought in the U.S. Civil War on the side of the Union Army was born in Woodsdale, Person County, North Carolina. After graduating from Wilberforce University in 1924, Berry moved to Chicago where he received the second bachelor's degree from the University of Chicago, followed by a master's degree from the Rush Medical College of the University of Chicago. In 1933, he also received a master's degree in pathology from the University of Illinois Medical School. After receiving his medical degree, Berry worked briefly at the Freedmen's Hospital in Washington, D.C., and then at Cook County Hospital in Chicago, Illinois, where he specialized in gastroenterology and retired in 1975 as, as chief of endoscopy and senior attending physician. Now, in addition to his long and distinguished medical career, Dr. Leonidas Berry was active in teaching, writing, and community public service. The latter included work in civil rights, on the racial problems of public health, and with the African Methodist Episcopal Church. He was also the author of a genealogical history of his family with a book, I Wouldn't Take Nothing for My Journey, Two Centuries of an Afro-American Minister's Family, published in 1982. In the early 1950s, Berry started during his Berry started during his presidency of Cook County Hospital's Physician Association, the Berry Plan, which was a citywide movement which provided medical counseling clinics for the prevention and follow-up care for, for young drug users. It was implemented and operated by the Illinois State Department of Health. Berry's papers, which were given by him to the National Library of Medicine in 1986, centered on Berry's active professional and civic life. While the earliest copies of family material date from the 1890s, the bulk of the collection dates from the 1950s. Included are correspondence, photographs, newspaper clippings, publications, and lectures. So just based off of his life so far and what he's accomplished, Dr. Leonidas Berry has contributed a lot to black history and black culture. So Dr. Berry, we salute you and we thank you for your contribution. And that concludes another episode of Everyday Black History. We ask every day that you tune in for our next episode as we'll be talking about people and institutions nearly every day and how they contributed to black history and black culture. So stay tuned for the next episode.